Hi guys! Welcome to day 2 of week 15 Kids Daily Devotion. My name is Auntie Rashida. Alright, our lesson for today is from 1 Samuel 3 verse 10 and our memory verse is 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel 16 verse 7. Let's read from the New International Readers Version first. The Lord came and stood there. He called out, just as he had done other times. He said, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel replied, Speak, I'm listening. The King James Version reads, And the Lord came and stood, and called as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel answered, Speak, for thy servant hear it. Let us honor God's holy word by saying, Thanks be to God. Alright, now let's explain what we have just read. Samuel was living with Eli at the tabernacle. Eli was growing old. Yes. One night, as Samuel was laying down, he heard a calling. He heard Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel got up, went to attend to Eli, but Eli told him, I was not the one who called you. Samuel heard the calling again, and he checked with Eli to find out, are you the one calling me? But again, it was not Eli. Eli instructed Samuel, if you hear that voice calling you one more time, Answer and say, Speak, Lord, thy servant is listening. Yes, that was the voice of God that was calling Samuel in the wee hours of the night. All right, let's apply what we have just learned to our lives. When Samuel heard the voice a third time, he answered and said, Speak, Lord, thy servant is listening. How many of us answer our parents when they call? I do. Do you? Yes. It's important when we listen and when we answer. It's very, very important. When God speaks to us, what must we do? All right. You'll find your answer if you complete this puzzle right here. You can just look at the screen and follow the instruction. The instruction for your activity today is, you must begin with a smiling face in the center and write the letter for each set of directions below. Begin in the center speech each time. So right there, boys and girls, in that puzzle, you'll see in the center a smiling face. Now number one has a smiling face with an arrow going down and another arrow moving to the right. So let me assist you with this first one. So find the smiling face on the puzzle. I found mine. Rest your hand on it. So number one is giving you a clue. It says go down one time. So from the smiling face, go down to the U. Yes. Now move to the right. Hmm. What letter you got? The letter L. Now you'll do the same thing for number two. All right, so number two gives you two arrows down, one, two, and it gives you one arrow to the left. That's the letter you should write for number two. And you do the same for the others. All right, I know you are bright boys and girls, and you will master this activity. All right, good job boys and girls. I believe you did well. Before we go, let us just say this small prayer together. God, help me listen when you speak to me. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, I'll see you tomorrow. But just before we go, let us repeat our memory verse. First Samuel 16, verse 7. Let's do the King James Version first. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. 
For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. The New International Reader's Version, memory verses. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider how handsome or tall he is. I have not chosen him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outside of a person, but the Lord looks at what is in the heart.